Hey guys, it's Ewok Pilot here, and today we're going to be taking a look at something I have been waiting for for a long time, and that is Clone Army Customs RP2 Doom Unit. Now, for those of you who don't already know, the Doom Unit is pr my favorite Clone Legion in all of Star Wars. Um, I think they look absolutely incredible, they're very unique looking, and uh, they feature in one of my favorite sequences in all of Star Wars The Clone Wars, and they've got Jedi's and Masters, Tipley and Tiplar, which I think are a really great compliment to them. I should have some of those figures coming in relatively soon. But yeah, today we're here to focus on the brand new RP2 release. Now, for those of you who don't know, Clone Army Customs is a custom LEGO clone trooper seller, and they make all sorts of designs from the Clone Wars and beyond. And if you're interested, I recommend checking them out, even if these aren't the figures you're looking for. But they have just dropped their brand new realistic style template based on the films and the 2014 template for Lego Star Wars Clone Troopers, which is very exciting. They've been doing an animated torso, animated style torso for the longest time. And I do have an example right here for you, as you can see on the stomach area. It's a very noticeable difference. They're very, very different. But I'll be doing a full comparison between the realistic template and the animated template sometime in the future. But today we're here to focus on these guys. Now standing here in front is Commander Doom himself. Now this guy looks absolutely fantastic. They've got all sorts of detail in here and they've even got this really nice printed sun visor on top, which adds just so much to this incredible figure. We've got this waist cape. It's also got holsters on it. We've got the nice brown belt right there. We've got 360 degree leg printing. As you can see, the feet are printed all the way around as usual. We've got really nice leg and hip printing. As you can see, it's printed on the back as well. Very standard for Clone Army Customs. And now we've even got the 360 arms, which are becoming standard across all of the CAC products, which looks really, really good if you really like that added detail. Personally, when I buy CAC, the prices are very high. So I'm expecting a lot when I buy figures from him. But as you can see, he certainly did deliver. We've got the really nice yellow arm detailing here on the left arm. And then on the right arm, we got that orange, or not orange, sorry, olive green little triangle and point on the side. We've got the, the calm link there as well. And then we got, again, the nice really brown belt. And then as you can see, it's in its accurate gray, light gray for the helmet face and the arms, unlike the original version that CSC released, which is in white, which did not look very good in my personal opinion. And then of course it's a squad pack that I ordered. So there's no helmet under or no face underneath. As far as I'm aware, Doom does not have a special or unique face compared to the other clones. So if you ordered from CAC you would not be getting anything unique. You would just get a standard clone helmet or head. And that's going to do it for Commander Doom. Like I said, absolutely incredible figure. If you would like me to, I can do a more in-depth review in the future. But we're moving on to the standard Doom Grunt now. We got three of these with the squad pack. Very happy about that. Had to get the squad pack. I love this unit. I'm definitely buying more of these figures. But we do have one glaring issue that I would like to address right off the bat. Now, those of you who watched my um, Grandpa Clone Customs review, that is already out. Uh, link in the description. You will know that he got this detail right, and that is that this belt right here, right here, the belt should be in brown, just like Doom himself. It should be brown or reddish brown. And unfortunately, they got it wrong here. This is very much light gray, the same color. And that is that is the one detail the one nitpick I have for this figure. Other than that, this figure looks absolutely incredible. As you can see, we get, again, the 360 degree arm printing, very, very accurate markings to what we see in the show. I don't know if olive green is exactly the right color, but I think it looks the best out of Lego's color palette. We got the, as you can see on here, the boots are actually darker than this. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but either way, I think it looks fine. It doesn't bother me that much. Um, we got, again, the 360 degree leg printing. And then we got that little yellow triangle in the middle that all the Dooms have. And then, as we see in the show, there are some variations of the Doom Troopers. We've got some with yellow markings on the face. And then some with the Republic symbol right here. 
I hope Clone Army Customs gets to making those, so you can just have some variety with your Doom unit. But, as of right now, those are not out. There are some other Doom Troopers, but they are not ever seen in the show, so I did not care to buy them. But, as you can see guys, this is an incredible, incredible lineup by Clone Army Customs. Other than the one issue that I did mention, I think these figures are absolutely amazing. I'm so, so happy to finally have a very highly detailed and accurate Commander Doom. Fully pad printed so you don't have to worry about the decals coming off like on the AV Figures Doom I reviewed all the way back in 2020. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Uh, stay tuned, I will be having a full in-depth comparison video between this Doom Trooper right here and the Grandpa Clone Customs Doom Trooper. For those of you who don't know who Grandpa Clone Customs is, he's another clone customizer who also fully pad prints his figures. So we will be doing an in-depth review between the two of those. But that's going to do it for this one, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, please subscribe and leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.